I like to travel a lot and I'm also very frugal. So any tips like this, I love seeing and I want to share because I feel like I've just hacked the system. I'm about to leave to Puerto Rico and I have flights with Allegiant and Frontier Airlines. And because the ticket I bought was so cheap, 180 one way, I know it's great. I am only allowed a personal item, but I figured out how to hack the system and basically bring a free carry-on. This is all the stuff I'm going to bring with just the personal item allowance and I'm gonna show you how I'm doing it. So once I'm through TSA and it's about time to board, I'm going to go into the bathroom. I have a pillowcase full of clothes that I'm gonna take out. I'm gonna carry that on as just my pillow. I've done this before if you've seen those videos. I'm gonna do it again because it worked really well every time I've done it so far. And then that duffel bag is collapsible and turns into a crossbody bag. So I'm just going to take everything out, have that crossbody on me. And I have one more bag. It just has my bathroom stuff in it. It just didn't fit in my personal item backpack. So I'm going to put that in a duffel bag, put that on so I look pregnant <laughs> and put a jacket on over it. Voila. I know this might be a little bit uncomfortable for the plane ride, but honestly, my plan is to, once we take off, go to the bathroom, take off the duffel bag and then put it above me if there's space. Usually they will yell at you if you try to put your personal item um, above where the carry-ons go if they know that you're not allowed one. But if the plane is already taking off, people always put their stuff above and that's the plan. But obviously I will let you know how it goes and if I have any problems, we'll talk about it now. This is still before, so we're gonna see how it goes. But I really have the confidence that this will work. They don't pay these people enough to care what's in your pillowcase or if your stomach is real. If you make it through TSA, you're safe. And if it looks like you have one bag, I don't think they care. People don't get paid enough to care is what I've learned. I know it can be temporarily uncomfortable sneaking all of this stuff on, but the good thing about this collapsible bag is that once you have arrived, you take all of it off, you throw it in this duffel bag, and you just have a normal carry-on. And this duffel bag, I bought it off Amazon. I'll give you guys the link because I'm seriously so excited about it. It has a crossbody, it has the two handles, um, so it's easy to carry and then at the end I just end up with this small personal item backpack and a duffel bag with the perfect amount of stuff. Honestly, I probably have more than I need to. I always overpack, but it's better to have more than less, I guess, sometimes. Well, I don't care, it's gonna work out. So with Allegiant, it was so easy. I just walked on, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have no problems this entire time. But I messed up, I messed up with Frontier. And I'll tell you what I did. So because I decided to go to the bathroom before the flight, because I hate those small little airplane bathrooms, they're disgusting, I was one of the last board and they asked me to size my bag. And it was supposed to be a fine personal item size when I bought the bag off Amazon, so I wasn't really worried about it. But the bag was like an inch, an inch too big. So I'm like, shit, everyone else is on the plane. I'm a little bit worried about it. So I tried to move a couple things around quickly, um, but I was just stressed and I'm like, okay, I give up, I'll pay for the bag. It was a hundred dollars for a carry-on. I get that it's more at the gate, but that's more than a checked bag. It, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. It's just a scam. But yeah, um, I just agreed to pay for it because I, I don't know, I thought it would be like max 50 because that's logical. But if I would have just thrown away a pair of shoes or moved something else to my bag if i had a tiny bit more time i would have been able to get everything on just like i did a legion and it would have been fine 
So this is possible, just don't be like me, size your bag before, so if they ask you, you can just go right on. The pillow trick will always work. So if nothing else, just have your personal item and a pillow, and if you want that collapsible bag, it's super useful. I still really love the bag. But yeah, don't make the same mistakes I did. I fail, so you can succeed. I believe in you, do it. Do it anyway, just don't, uh, don't do what I did. I'm gonna be returning home probably in May and it'll most likely still be with Frontier. So I'm gonna do it again and I'm gonna prove that I can do it because I know I can. I just was the last on the plane, I was stressed and I didn't want to get left at the airport. My anxiety really ruled that situation when I could have fixed it. So that's what happens when you don't double check, you pay $100. But in the end, I had three flights, and if I had paid in advance for that bag, it would have been about the same price. So it, it kind of evened out with the free one that I got. But I was mad because I really, you saw in the beginning, I was confident. I'm like, I got this, there's no problem. But I really paid $100 for a carry-on, not even check bag, so, nah, whatever. So hopefully you're able to take some kind of inspiration from this. It'll work, just be careful. Thanks for watching. I hope you are able to hack the system and avoid your baggage fees better than I was. And I'll show you next time when I actually do it for all of them. <laughs> Bye.